So last time we left off at the point where we could spawn random items in our inventory. And now we have to fix our tooltip because you can see when we mouse over stuff the tooltip is not showing and that's because we don't have the functionality for showing the tooltip in the new uh, setup we just made. So we need to fix this by going to our item script. And in here we'll see that we have this function called get tooltip and right now it doesn't contain anything. So I think I left some code inside my item here. As you can see here, uh, inside my uh, get tooltip in the item script, there is some code we can reuse. And basically, we need to build upon, uh, or, or our, all our classes need to build the tooltip up. So what we have to do is that we want to make sure that item adds all the basic functionality to the tooltip, which means the item quality, item type, and sprite, uh, and max size, of course, item name and description. And then if we go to, um, for example, the weapon, the weapon should add the attack speed to the tooltip. And uh, the equipment should add intellect, agility, stamina, and strength to the tooltip. So let's start from the top. Um, our uh, tooltip in our item should add all the basic functionality. So we might as well just take this and copy it and paste it inside the item tooltip here and then remove the comment. I'm just going to zoom out so I can see what's happening here. So right now this description is not right. It should be description with a large D because we have the description up here. So I have to say description. If the description is not empty, then we're going to add a new line. And then we're going to switch on quality. See so if the quality is common, then the color is white. Is uncommon slime and so on. So this colors the the quality of the tooltip. Um, then we also have something else in here. I think down here. So let's see, had something. So we need to copy this until this point. I guess. Yeah. Let's just copy all this. So return string dot format here and we can go back in here because now we already created the color and the uh, description and the item name should also uh, be here so let's just return here so we need to return the color size and we need to add the um, item name and the item description here so we're gonna make a comma here comma item name comma description so on sp spot 0 the item name is going to go and on spot 1 the description is going to go. So we need to remove some of these things. We don't need to have two here. There we go. So now we actually have some part of the tooltip I think. We can test this out and see if it works out later. Um, but this should work just fine actually. To, because now we created the basic part of the tooltip and we're returning it and we can re remove return null and then we're returning it to um, the next thing for example consumables and consumables needs to add uh, health and mana on the top of that tooltip that it just got so if we go back into item tool script tooltip here we'll see that we have some other stuff here stamina strength and intellect and this is basically the same we have to do just with health and mana so if we copy strength and intellect could paste it. we can delete this up here because we don't need it again so let's just copy intellect and strength here and then we can jump back into um, into our consumable and then we should set it up like this um, string stats equals string dot empty so we have an empty string when we start uh, generating our tooltip so every time we do it we remake our tooltip so it, we don't uh, write stuff on top of each other we're gonna make this if statement here and we're gonna remove the line comment so in here so we can see something and then we're gonna say if health is larger than uh, zero then we're gonna write a tooltip that says um, 
this potion restores health to string health um, So if the health is larger than zero, then it then it's going to be written in the tooltip that this potion restores x amount of health, and we need exactly the same thing underneath here, just with the mana. If mana is greater than that, then it restores mana. Mana is a string, and then we're going to say string dot item tip equals base that get tooltip so this item tip here is going to be equal to base tooltip which is the normal items tooltip so all the general item stats is going to be saved in here and then I'm going to return string dot format if I could hit the right keys and I'm going to say zero plus size equals 14 I think that was what I was using and I'm gonna hit this then I'm gonna write uh, the other tooltip which is gonna be my own stats I'm gonna explain in a second So I already have this item tip here, and this item tip will contain the general tip from description and um, uh, stack size. No, not stack size. What is it? I'm losing myself. Give me a sec. Up here, it's gonna contain, yeah, quality, max, uh, not max size, but item and description. So these things are gonna be um, um, consumable there. These things are going to be saved in here because we're calling base the tooltip, which is item we inherit from. So this is going to be put in here, and then we're going to say, well, base our base tooltip should be first paste first. So we're going to put item tip here, and then we're going to put stats here. So our own tooltip is going to be afterwards. So base tooltip come first in in the tooltip, and then our own stats we just generated here is going to be after. Okay, so that's the consumable. Then we would need to go to our equipment. And we need to do the exact same thing. Um, and we already have all the functionality here inside our item script. All this basically is what we need. So we can cu cut that and go back into our equipment. There we go. And in here we can uncomment it. So we need to look for strength with last letters. And we need to create a stats. We can save it in. So string stats equals string dot empty. And intellect and agility with large A and stamina. It's the same here course but here we need to replace these with the uh, capital letters as well so now we're checking for strength and uh, all the other stats and we're adding it to the stat here and then we're going to get the tooltip from our uh, item as we just did before so we're going to say string uh, item tip equals base that get tooltip so this item tip again is going to contain all the basic information and then we're going to do the exact same thing as we just did in consumable just going to copy this one and go to equipment paste it here turn string dot format zeros 15 1 just going to move this space here and item tip and stats and I should go back here and remove that space as well. Okay, so the last thing we need is our weapon, and our weapon is uh, very simple. It's not uh, there's not a lot of code there. So basically, we should say 
string um, equipment equipment tip equals a base that get tool tip so equipment tip is just the tip because weapon inherits from equipment and equipment has its own tip which it returns so the equipment tip is going to be returned here and then I'm going to do the exact same thing as before I still have it copied, yes I do so this is going to be equipment tip and my attack speed because we don't need to calculate anything here the only thing that is different is the attack speed so we're going to add the attack speed onto our tooltip then we need to go back into our item script and um, here we need to remove all this code we have here and basically our tooltip is going to be return item dot tooltip yeah get tooltip and so we just set up everything in here what what all the tooltips should be from for each item how they should uh, set up all their tooltips here and then we went into our item script and we return the total amount like the the final tooltip here so we have our item up here which we're setting when we are making our item uh, when we're putting our item into the inventory and then we can call that items tooltip and that item generates the correct tooltip for us so let's try to save and run this code and let's try to pick something up and as you can see we have some tooltips here that's a little mistake I can see we need to make something yes okay so there's written stamina 5 and stamina five and all of them. So there's a, an error in the in the sword, and there's no um, what is it called? Attack speed. Let's push. Let's try to look here. So let's jump into the weapon and figure out what's wrong. Yeah, okay. So I should actually write some more stuff here. I guess I should make a new line here, and I should actually just do like this. And we're going to write attack speed like this so it gets a better format and so we get a new line so the 5 is not just going to be written after our uh, agility or whatever and then we're going to make a space and write attack speed so let's try to save this I hope you understand what I just did I just made an extra line a new line character so the 5 is not going to be on right there let's try to see so Mana potion restores 10 mana, restores 10 health, and there we go, attack speed 5. So I just want to check something actually. If we do this in maximized, if our tooltip still fits. So agility, can we pick anything up? Okay, so as you can see here, we are missing our attack speed right now on our sword because we're in full screen. So to fix that, I had a hunch that that might be wrong. If we go to our size text and our visual text here this vertical overflow is set to truncate just try to overflow it and the same with the size text so go to your um, hierarchy select your canvas find your tooltip select the size text and then select the vertical overflow and select overflow and select the visual text and set vertical overflow to overflow so let's see what happens now see if it fucks it up or if it's, if it's still good yeah there we go so now we also have our attack speed inside our tooltip so that was the tooltip part in the next part we will look at how we can update the save function because right now it shouldn't be working because it's set up for the old system